Uh, and now the other thing I want to share with you is how to leverage the RTK setting of the drone. Um, so if we hop into GPS mode, uh, I'm going to basically show you that, uh, you know, you don't need RTK to do a solar inspection. Um, but what it does do is it actually makes our processing faster and you're going to get your results quicker. So if you have RTK uh, and, you, and you can set it up, it's actually the better way uh, to collect data to get your GPS position really uh, accurately. Now, I don't have a base station here today. But what I am doing is I'm using a custom network RTK. Uh, so we're in Massachusetts and the Massachusetts Department of Transportation has a free service. So they have base stations over the state uh, that are calibrated or accurate. And we pretty much just go on to Massachusetts DOT website, create a, a username and password and get set up to use their, their NTRIP uh, caster. Uh, so I have, you know, our host port, my username, Mount, Mount Point. Uh, that you can choose like an individual base station if you want to use a specific one or let the network figure out the optimal one. Uh, so I'm actually using those today. So that's really cool. I don't need a base station uh, that that's like here on site with me. If you have access to Internet and you're working in a state or a government uh, that has some kind of some type of cores RTK service. Uh, so that's going to make the drones positioning accurate to like a few few centimeters if you have a really good uh, cores network nearby.